Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Katie and we're going to go over this week's metabolic mixer workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to mess around with a few things. We're going to mix it up a little bit as we go through. So we'll explain everything as we get to that spot. You ready, KK? Ready. Okay, so for the first part, we're going to start with two exercises. We're going to do 60 second send off. So you're going to have 60 seconds to get two exercises done. You're going to do five reps of the one exercise, 10 of the other. Get it done in 20 seconds, that's gonna give you 40 seconds to recover. If you get it done in 30, it's gonna give you 30 to recover. We're gonna do this five times and then move on to the next group of exercises. So, exercise number one with the dumbbells, we're gonna do our gorilla squat press. So, you're gonna have, reach for those dumbbells on the floor, get those hips set back, drive up, pulling those shoulder, dumbbells to your shoulders, and then pressing overhead. Deep breath in, drive up, throw those dumbbells up. You're now going all the way down to the floor. It's a little too challenging. Go as slow as you feel comfortable. Yank them to the shoulders, then press overhead. You're gonna do five of those. Then we're gonna go down to our backs. You're gonna grab one of our TheraBands here. We're gonna do our glute bridge with the band full apart. So you're gonna drive those hips up and then pull that band across your chest here. You can take those hips down each time or you can keep those hips up the entire time and get 10 of those pull parts done. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling those hands down toward the floor, get that band across your chest, and then you're gonna come back up and just stay fast and loose for the rest of that 60, 60 seconds. We're gonna go through that five times and we're moving on. So our next group of exercises, we're gonna do some descending ladders. So we'll go two exercises at a time here. You're gonna have four minutes. You're gonna start with five reps of each exercise. You'll go five and five and then Back and forth, you go four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. If you get down to one before the four minutes is up, you just start coming right back up that ladder. Two, three, four. Six. Yeah, six. Okay, here we go. So first two exercises. We're gonna start with our plank row here. So push up plank position, squeeze that shoulder blade as you pull that dumbbell up towards your ribs. Push the ground away from you with that other arm. Keep those hips nice and stable. You can add that push up in here as well if you'd like to challenge yourself. So it'll be push up, row, and then row. You can do this from your knees as well if you need to. You can also put one hand on the floor, do five rows on one arm and then five rows on the other. So there's a few options here for you if you need. Our second exercise is reverse lunges. So you can hold some dumbbells at your side. You can hold one at your chest, at your shoulders, however you want to work here, or just go body weight. Deep breath in on the way down, stepping back, taking that back knee down the floor. Squeeze that back glute tight as you dry, as you go back down, and then your weights on that front leg, driving back up, crush that soda can with that heel as you step up. You're gonna do five on each leg and then four on each leg, so it's four and four, three and three, all the way down to one. That's our first group of exercise. Our second set of descending ladders here. We're gonna come over to our suspension trainers and we're gonna do some reverse flies here. So plank position here, soft bend in those elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades to pull yourself up. So really squeeze here, try to hold that pencil between those shoulder blades, nice and control the way down. Deep breath in, push that air out as you squeeze those shoulder blades. You notice how Katie's staying on her heels here as well, so she's not getting flat footed. If you wanna make this heavier, you step further in. If you need to make it lighter, you just step a little bit further out. Our second exercise is our tall kneeling get up. So, you have a couple options here. You can hold one of the slam balls, you can hold a dumbbell, two dumbbells, you can do an overhead. So quite a few variations here. From that tall kneeling position, you're just gonna step forward with one leg and then stand up here, and then you're going back down to the floor. And every time you come up, switch which leg you use here. So you're gonna go, for this one, you're just gonna do five total. When you come back, you'll do four total. Just make sure you're starting with the other leg each time so we keep you balanced out here. So it's not five and five on this one, it's just five, and then you go back to four, so you're gonna go back and forth on those two for this second set. So we're only doing those each one time here, and now we're gonna move on to our finisher. So for our finisher, we're gonna have three exercises, 25 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch between exercises. We're gonna go four rounds. So it's just bang, bang, bang. We're gonna get through all four rounds as quickly as possible, pushing that pace, really trying to get that heart rate up at the end. So our first exercise is our TRX rows, moving plank position, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those shoulders, push that air out as you pull here. Again, if you wanna make it heavier, you step further in. If you wanna make it lighter, you step a little further out. Our second exercise is our shadow boxing exercise. So grab some lighter dumbbells here, wall up those abs here, and throw those hands. Rotate through that core here. So Katie's not just throwing those hands, keeping her chest 
uh, flat, flat here. She's going to rotate through, turning her chest like there's a light in her chest. It's going to be shining all over the room here. And then our third and final exercise, we're going to do some burpees. So taking those hands down the floor, kick those feet back, bring the feet outside those hands and explode up. If you want to, you can do that step back burpee one leg at a time here. You can also do drop squats jump squats or air squats, whatever you can do. We're going four rounds, so I know you're gonna be tired at the end. Modify however you need to. Okay, that's our metabolic mixer for this week. Great job, KK. Thanks.